name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library. So today is a very exciting video for me <laughs> because this is my I hit 100 subscribers. Let's chat and answer questions and do other slightly bookish things. Um, so yeah, I about a week ago, maybe a little bit more, I recently reached 100 subscribers. Thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel and talking with me about all things bookish and watching my videos and whatnot, engagement, etc. and so forth. So I thought I would answer some questions. I did a little poll on my Instagram and uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I do post pretty regularly on there my bookish updates. My handle is in the description along with all my other bookish themed social medias, so feel free to follow me there as well. So I thought I'd answer some questions and also just kind of give a little background uh, because I gained a lot of subscribers recently, but I've actually been on YouTube for a decently long amount of time. So I started YouTube almost two and a half years ago but I was not posting very regularly. I was It was more posting maybe once a month or if you can hear my tortoise in the background crashing against his cage, I'm sorry. He's crashing against a little shaded area. Anyway, where was I? So I, yeah, I wasn't posting very regularly and I was still kind of figuring out my content a little bit and just exactly how to make videos and whatnot. Um, I didn't start posting regularly weekly until earlier this year so <laughs> my my videos did not mesh with the algorithm well and I, I they still don't but you know what that's okay i'm having fun anyway i have always posted uh bookish content i love reading and i also love writing but i haven't talked about that a lot on my channel um just because i've been prioritizing reading so much more but with NaNoWriMo coming up I hope to do some writing. I am very much at the point in my life where I am a college student, so I kind of move around a lot. Uh, almost every year we've moved apartments and my bookshelves have been slowly, very slowly growing because I am initially from Michigan, but I'm living in Minnesota. But I want to move back to Michigan when we finish school, so I don't want to get my Get, I don't want my bookshelves to get too big before we have to drive 10 hours um, and permanently move there, but that's why it's my little library. Um, also, that reminds me, uh, fun fact about my channel, if you are new and you have seen only or mostly my recent videos, um, I actually used to have a different YouTube channel name. I used to be called a reading warrior. And that was fun and I liked it, but I just, it got a little confusing and it just didn't quite pan out the way I had hoped it to. That's, that's a fun little tidbit that if you watch any of my older videos, I will always, I was a reading warrior and that, <laughs> that's kind of how I branded myself. Um, but yeah, I've done a lot of growth since then, which has been really awesome. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the basics of my channel. I've not very interesting, I know, but I just kind of wanted this to be a sit down, chit chat, kind of chill vibe with me video. Um, so I'm going to answer some of the questions that y'all have asked. Uh, the first one being, how long does it take you to read an average length book? So I'm going to say an average length book is probably 300 to 400 pages um, because I do, I do read a lot of fantasy. Um, but I have been branching out into different genres lately, um, and so those have varied. So I'm going to say it's three to four hundred pages, and the, this question is a tricky one because if I am sitting and physically reading the book, it could take me like four or five hours just in general to sit and read. Um, because I so I did time myself actually once because I was very curious. I read about a page a minute. I'm not a particularly fast reader, but I'm not exactly slow either. The issue is is I am a slow reader, but I have the terrible habit of 
skimming paragraphs or even just skipping paragraphs if there's no dialogue like descriptions and movements i if it's not interesting if i'm not encaptured in the book i will just skip over it until i get to the next set of dialogue so i'm trying to slow down my reading a little bit just so i can actually read everything uh, but if I'm listening to an audiobook, which is probably, it used to be half of my reading, and I think at the moment it's majority of my reading, just because I am, I have been pretty busy lately, so the only way I can read is with an audiobook. Um, I listen to my audiobooks on two times speed, so it really depends on how long the audiobook is. So if it's a, if it's a 10 hour audiobook, I listen to it in five hours. All right, the second question is, what's the one thing you hate most in books? And I, I think what I hate most in books are specific tropes. I hate, hate love triangle tropes, and I hate miscommunication. Like, I don't care most of the time about uh, miscommunication if if unless there is an actual valid reason which most of the time there is not I am I get so bothered by the miscommunication and it upsets me so much and it frustrates me to a point I will put down the book I just can't so miscommunication and love triangles are the two things I hate most in books I can't do it. What is your favorite genre to read? Good question. Uh, I think my favorite genre to read is probably fantasy. I have, fantasy has kind of always been my favorite genre since I started reading like way back in elementary, middle school, since I actually started to like to read. I always read fantasy, always, always, always. Um, but uh, more specifically, I love reading um, mythology-based fantasy, I have found. I enjoy that quite a bit, and I really enjoy fantasy books with good world-building, uh, as well as, like, characters, but if it's got a great magic system or a great world-building, then there we go. I am set. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question, what genre do you want to read more of? I want to read more of historical fiction. I know I like historical fiction, but for some reason, I, I get so bored listening to other people's recommendations for historical fiction, and then I just never find historical fiction that I want to read. But the reason why that is, though, is that because so much historical fiction is solely World War II. And that's great, but there's a lot more fiction out, historical fiction out there that's not World War II. And I have a hard time finding that and then also finding books that I like. So I want to read more historical fiction. I have historical fiction on my TBR, so I have a place to start. But I really do need to like put more effort into researching authors and series and finding historical fiction that I would actually enjoy to read. And then the last question is, what are some of my other hobbies that I do other than other than reading and writing? I am, so like I said, I do like writing. I am currently working on a writing project. Initially, it was a, it is a manuscript that I would like to get published, but it was first for my major capstone, then that I was going to get published afterwards, but now because of school switching and transferring and all kinds of messy life things. Um, I may not be able to do that anymore, but because I've already started the manuscript, I really want to see it through. Uh, the only thing I will say is that it is based with Irish mythology because that is a huge passion of mine that I have. Um, otherwise, I love crocheting. I haven't done that in a while, but I've recently been getting back into it. And I watch a lot of TV which is not great for reading. Um, I recently picked up Irish dancing at a local pub and I love it. So yeah, those are kind of the other things that I do with my life when I'm not working. 
Oh, I guess another hobby is baking, but I also do that for my job. So I do it at home, therefore it's a hobby, but I kind of use the skills that I gain at work, so yeah. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. I know this video is kind of short and not like book recommendations or reviews or anything like that, but I just wanted to celebrate and kind of get hope to get to know you guys in the comments, but also allow you to get to know me a little bit more through your questions. Um, I've had a lot of fun. And so, yeah, thank you so much for allowing me to get up to 100 subscribers. I loved meeting you all and communicating with you, and I would love to continue that going forward. And please, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so. I upload every week. Um, I might change around what days I upload just because my work schedule might be changing. Um, but I would like to continue posting twice a week if I can. And I have lots of exciting content ideas, so I think I will be able to continue posting twice a week. So hit the bell to be notified when I do post. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Thank you.